In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an internet backup system for your smart home. Hi, I'm Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. And today, what we're going to do is create an internet backup system for our smart home using this tiny little device here and our smartphone with a data plan. Because when you lose internet, the internet coming into your home is gone. But most of us have a second internet right on their phone through your data of your cell phone plan. So we're going to create um, the Wi-Fi from our phone to go to here and then we'll be able to plug it right into our smart home hub. All right, we're at our computer and I'm going to set this up using a desktop and what we're going to do is we're going to plug in our USB cord for power and we're going to plug in our Ethernet cord for internet. Okay, so once you have it plugged into your USB and Ethernet port on your computer, you can go to um, any web browser like Google Chrome or whatever you have on your computer and type in vonets.cfg. And it's going to come up to this page in the upper right hand corner. You're going to type in the username and password, which is admin, admin, and click login. Now you can see at the top it says operation mode is router. So we need to change that. So if you go over to the side here, you have all these other options on the left hand side. And we're going to go to operating mode. Wi-Fi bridge and Wi-Fi signal repeater and click apply. All right, now once you've done that and it's stopped processing, just go ahead up to the top and reload the page. Now when you reload the page, you can see at the top, now we're in the Wi-Fi bridge plus repeater mode and it's um, defaulted here uh, to scan hotspots. Because basically what it's trying to do is find a Wi-Fi network to connect to. Um, this is my home network here. So um, that is my main internet coming into my house. But obviously if this is cut off, I need to have another internet source to have my smart home still work. Um, as long as power is available, everything would work as long as I had the internet. Okay, so on my cell phone, um, which this is an Apple phone, but this will work for Android as well. You want to go to your settings and you want to go to personal hotspot. So once I go in here, um, you can see that it says now discoverable and it has my phone name, which is Justin's underscore iPhone. And then it has a Wi-Fi password. Um, so to refresh this, I'm just going to turn it off, turn it back on, and then on the screen here, I'm just going to click refresh list. And now you can see that my phone has shown up in the list. Now it's very important as you look at these names here, see how um, none of them have spaces and none of them have special characters. Um, you have to be sure that your phone name, so if I go into my settings and I go to general and I go to about, you have to be sure that your phone name is something that does not contain spaces or special characters or it will not show up in this list. So if you do have um, space, special characters or spaces, just go ahead and change your name here. And then once you go back to your personal hotspot, it will have changed the name of your personal hotspot. Um, and then you can also click and change the password if you if you want as well. For this example, I'm just going to keep it um, one through eight. All right. So all we have to do on the screen is click on my phone and then click the next button. 
Now you would want to type in the password that's showing on our phone here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's also another option here to have a Wi-Fi signal come out of the Vonets box as well. So we're going to call this Smart Home Backup. Or you have the option to disable it as well. So if you just wanted to have the hard connection, um, you could just disable it and then no one would be able to connect to this network. But if your internet does go down, you might want to have the ability for other devices and other phones to be able to connect to your um, Wi-Fi. So we're going to go ahead and hit apply. And now you can add more than one hotspot if you wanted to as well. So say if you wanted to add everyone's phone in the entire house. So whoever is home could be using their phone to back up the smart home. Basically to set these new parameters, we just need to reboot the device. So we're just going to click on reboot. All right, and it has rebooted. So what we need to do is just log back in. So we got admin, admin, log in, and it's going to write, default right back to the hotspots again. So if we go back up to operation status, um, you can see that my phone is here. And if I go back into personal hotspots and just turn this on, turn it, turn it off, turn it back on. Now you can see it is connecting. So basically it took a little bit of time there because it was still, um, the device was still starting up. It takes probably a minute to start up. Um, so here you got all of the information. Um, it says how long it's been up and all of this other information here. Um, and you can see this is the operation mode that we're in. Um, these are other hotspots that you could go ahead and add if you wanted to add something to your hotspot list. So you had more than one choice. Um, here you can see this is where we set up our hotspot wireless and you can disable that here. And you can also change the password here as well. We're just going to keep it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for now. And under system settings, um, you have reboot device. This is where you would restore it to factory defaults. So if you just want to start over, that's where you would do that. Um, this is where you can actually change the login for better security. So you could, um, you know, change your password to something other than admin, which would definitely be recommended. So now we're going to go down and show you how to connect this to smart things and how it kind of works and how you can use it basically as an internet backup system. Okay. So we've already completed this setup of the Vonets, uh, Wi-Fi bridge and repeater. And you can see that our smart things is currently online. Uh, we got our green light here. In the back, we have our Ethernet um, plugged in, and this is coming right from our internet service provider that comes to our entire house. So if I go into my SmartThings app, uh, we're in the hallway right here. So if I turn off the hallway, the hallway light will turn off. And if I turn on the hallway, the hallway light turns on. Now, if I disconnect the internet, at the back of the smart things hub so now all we have is a power cord you can see that on the front now instead of a green light we have a flashing blue light and that basically means that it does not have an internet connection and now you can see that it says our hub is offline and it's got a red dot next to pretty much all of our devices and that means that none of these are going to work. So if we went into our hall light that we just controlled, um, when we try and do anything, it just will not respond. 
nothing is happening, nothing is turning off, nothing is turning on, and it says this device is unavailable. And that's basically because we have no internet, so it will not work. But now, all we need to do is we need to take this and plug in our ethernet wire into our hub. And just plug this into power. And the green light is showing that it's plugged in. This flashing light is searching for a signal. But it's not going to find a signal because we need to go back to our phone and enable our hotspot. So we go into our hotspots and let's turn off our hotspot and turn it back on just to refresh it. And once it gets a connection, this little blue flashing light will start um, blinking rapidly. And there you go, you see it's starting to blink rapidly. And now it is connecting to our phone. And now you see that the green light is now on, on SmartThings. So that means it has a connection to the internet. And this is our internet coming into our home. So if this were to go down, all we need to do is take this Wi-Fi bridge and repeater, plug it into the back of our SmartThings, power it up, and turn on our hotspot on our phone, and we are good to go. So now when we go back into our SmartThings app, you can see that the not responding has gone away, and all of our devices are now back so the hall light is here. We go into that. Now we can turn it off. And turn it back on. And that is basically all there is to it. Once you get this set up on the computer, you hook it up to a couple Wi-Fi devices. Um, as, as long as they're present, um, that's all you have to do is plug this into the back of your smart things and plug this into power and you're going to have your internet connection back for your smart things and your smart home will work just like it always has. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.